forward. Oh, baby, we got a victim real quickly. Or maybe we're the victim here. Oh no! Oh no! This is the worst. This is the worst part about these decks when you've when you've never played them before. Is this hand keepable? I feel like this hand's actually not keepable, right? This hand seems bad. It just like doesn't do anything, right? It's got turn one soul ring though. How can, how could turn one soul ring be bad? <laughs> Just rewarded for good mulliganing decisions as you always are in Magic the Gathering. I mean, this, this five's good. You play the turn from the graveyard with Yogg Will, right? You're not wrong. Thinking it's not what I want to hear. Okay. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Mmm, Black Lotus. I don't think I actually want either of these cards, right? Do I want this Lotus in my life? I'm not sure I want this Lotus in my life. I think that's a bottom. Become. We were rewarded for bottoming. It's unknown. Dividing top is not restricted. We're playing two of them. Preordain next turn. Okay, take a free duder. I'm going to force the crap out of that. Get forced back and die. Yeah, get forced back and die. Combo mirrors. This is a sighting. Their force looks a lot better. You're not wrong. Uh, bottom, top. We get to cast time walk here. Can I shuffle? Is that allowed? <laughs> Can I shuffle off my sensei stop activation? Come home. Rawr, get in there, little spirit.
This is what we got, chat fam. Wow, and a force. Okay. Am I supposed to bring in Cage in this matchup? I feel like I'm not. I also feel like I feel like the Blightsteel plan is probably the Blightsteel plan is probably not good enough, right? Do I just like want these missteps? Is the cage for Oath? Just like cut the tinker plan? Is mentor too slow for the same reason like this is too slow? How is Blade Steel a turn one win? Do I just like need this as a backup plan? I probably just need a second win condition. Probably don't want to cut just to one tendrils. It's like, what are the other cuts then? Is Divining Top too slow? Gush is probably too slow. Is Managing not good enough? Could cut these and just bring in this. I hate that. Let's give that a try. I think Tinker for Time Vault seems fine. Uh, this hand does does stuff. It certainly it certainly does stuff. Tinker does get cage. Not wrong. I know, I know that this hand does stuff. I'm just unsure as to what stuff this hand does. I, I know, I am aware that this hand is a keep. Oh, I should have tapped this and then recalled, right? Punted. All right. Well, mistakes are made. That's the turn. It's not a question of whether or not the hand was a keep, it was a question of what I'm supposed to do with the hand after I keep it. Hey, look at that. So I play this then, and then tap this for three, and then this, and then this, and then outcome. That seems fine, right? It's a trap! It's a trap! It's a trap! Remember that time I didn't recall the previous turn? Uh untap this I think.
Yeah, I'll just leave that tapped. We draw like another outcome. Although if we draw outcome, I could just use this to cast it. Um. My opponent said in chat, Moldify Frowny Face and like had Force plus other great card. And I was just like, I wish they'd remove, they'd remove the chat from this game to avoid BM like that. It's just so annoying. There's no reason for you to do that. Gonna get Yogg Will here so we can Yogg Will next turn. Yeah, the, the chat is completely unnecessary. It just exists for assholes to be assholes. I'm gonna kill one of my things here. It's an abrupt decay. Sure. I guess that technically cuts me off a of mana. Oh. So wait, how does this work? Don't try. You may play cards to grave a card you put in your grave from anywhere. This turn exiles it. So I should crack this for black mana, and then I should cast this Yogwell. I should cast this. Should cast this at, and then I should cast this recall targeting myself. Should cast this mox opal. Um, should cast this demonic tutor. Go get Paradoxical Outcome. The Storm Count 7. Are you supposed to get Tendrils and kill them? Can I kill them yet? I don't think I can actually, right? They're at 19. Yeah, so we get Outcome. Let me do this. We float a mana here. I cast this. Target 1, 2, 3, 4. Then my colorless mana and my blue mana. Pick all those up. Cast this. Cast this. Cast this. Cast this. All right, now they're going to be dead to scroll for tendrils. Under a sky of dust. Oh. oh, this doesn't get tendrils, does it? Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, so I should have scrolled. I should have scrolled for outcome, and then I could have tutored for tendrils. That's fine. I just get to outcome again. Great. I get to outcome again. That's fine. This is better anyways. We get to draw more cards. It's okay. It's okay. This is better anyways. Under a sky of dust. I'm going to play this and crack. We're drawing enough cards that the thinning is relevant here. I'm going to play this and crack the fetch. Words will never true. I'm pretty sure my line is strictly correct because it allows me to draw more cards. Grab me again. I wanna run away. Never say goodbye. I wanna know the truth instead of wondering why. Look at this. You killed him with grape shot this game. Why, why are we playing this tendrils of agony card? And open up my mind. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22 in the words of a great poet. God, we're about to get mind break trapped, aren't we? God, I just, I probably should have kept going for a force of will. They were auto passing, but like we definitely could have gotten trapped there. I'm gonna run away. Gotta run away, gotta run away, ma. Gotta run away, gotta run away. Gotta run away, gotta run away. Why is there only one Yogwell on this deck? That seems like a huge punt if this card's not restricted. Should have played. That's a good point. Open up my mind, I wanna run away. 
<sighs> I thought someone said it wasn't restricted anymore. I thought someone said Yogwell was restrict wasn't restricted anymore earlier. This is a mulligan, right? It's got cage though. Yog bargain. Oh, okay. Sure. That makes sense. What do you think, chat fam? This is poop, right? If this was a blue mox, we'd keep it. You know how pretty that is. Pretty sure we can't keep this. That's fine. The old turn one brainstorm before we play our land. God, this format is wonderful. Needs the wizard spirit guide. Like when when are we gonna round out the spirit guide cycle? It's such a fair and balanced cycle of cards. Turn one, vault, key, mox, and turn vamp for time vault. Yeah, it seems great. We'd have force will back up through all that. Individual. What, 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 individual. All right. Well, we can beat one counter spell. We actually don't care about Oath of Druids here, right? Because, like, like, this just doesn't matter because they're not going to get another turn. So, like, I just let this resolve. I'm just going to, like, this is the game, right? So I'm going to let chat confirm. I just let this happen because they're not getting another turn unless they have, like, two counter spells. If they have two counter spells, we're dead anyways. So this should, this should just resolve. Uh, can they get anything that can't be countered here? Can they get anything that- am I supposed to force this? They- they can't cast- they could cast Slaughter Games, right? I should just force this, right? It's, uh... This feels like it could just be a discard spell too, right? I'm gonna counter this. I'm gonna Vamp Tutor first. Oh, it's Shattering Spree. Oh, yeah. Let's cut that shit right on out.
Oh, any card you say. Where is it? That one. The vault I keep all of my time in. means and I'm losing you thank you thank you thank you everyone that's hanging out here tonight I do appreciate it if you're enjoying what you see please hit that follow button it doesn't cost you anything else so that people find my stuff if you're really enjoying the sweet sweet vintage content that we're trying for the first time tonight uh, make sure you consider subscribing and twitch becoming a patron on patreon alternatively you can also support my content by supporting my sponsors mtgotraders.com would love to buy and sell magic online cards with you and if you use code hoagland paypal at checkout there you'll save eight percent on all of your singles orders with them coolstuffinc.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff including tcg singles using code jeff5 you can save five percent on pokemon and Yu Gi Oh and magic singles from coolstuffinc.com inkgaming.com can help you customize your gaming experience using code jeff12 you'll save 12 percent with them on custom play mats and mouse pads and uh, sleeves you can use your own artwork you have the rights to distribute or you can um use from their wide selection of custom art finally sparedeck.com offers kind of a unique service that will rent you any physical standard or modern deck using code hoagland7 you can get seven percent on your rentals with them they'll rent your deck for a weekend or up to an entire month At any rate we are back with the next match here i think this hand is fine so again, not quite a hundred percent sure. Not quite a hundred percent sure what the range of keepables is or isn't. I don't know what our opponent's doing, but Force of Will certainly makes us better against them. I'm guessing Merchant Scroll here. Just guessing the Voltaic key in passing. Not sure what I want to get yet. That, that seems fine. You can cast Explore. Strip mine is rude. I probably should untap that, technically speaking. Do I want to merchant scroll anything for anything here? It's probably just like go get recall, right? Honestly, merch for recall might have been the line last turn. Probably should have done this on one. It's probably, there might even be an argument for just like getting brainstorm here since like have two lands in my hand that are not stellar. I think I should have done this on one and then my two here could have been cast recall. Hopefully we draw a blue card that, like, I don't mind pitching to force next turn, so that way I can, like, force to protect this recall. Playing a mirror? Looks like a mirror. All right, opponent, you do you. You can strip mine me again here. And then ponder time walk. And good value, good value, Yogg will here. The opponent. If they don't find a way to answer this recall, we'll be in an okay spot.
I'm just looking for a paradoxical outcome. Can pick their stuff up and draw a bunch of cards. I'm going to pass the turn here and cast this recall during my opponent's upkeep. And the reason why I'm doing this is uh, they could have a hard cast force of will here, and I'd like them to spend their mana on their turn if they do. All right, they didn't. Sweet. They must have shuffled that ponder. Oh, we're 10 out of 10 just getting Yogg Will here, right? Yes, we are. Should be able to kill him with Mentor next turn then. Yeah, got him. These are for the mirror, right? Seems great. A Kataki in our board, too. That's funny. All right, so what am I cutting? This feels like the Blade Steel plan's not good here. It's a beautiful night. Beautiful, beautiful night outside. What are the other two cuts? I definitely want these. Is this a misstep matchup? This might be a misstep matchup. Yeah, probably not. A top and gush might be slow. Mana drain. Mana drain's probably fine. I want rip on the draw. That seems loose. You think Tinker's bad? Okay, I bet that for a dollar. Can I cut this gush too? How many blue cards do I have? Is this, is this going to too few? No, it's fine. I have plenty of blue cards. You know, Rip sounds awful. I don't think you automatically brought out Tinker when you brought out Blight Seal because like finding the time vault's real. I think I'm gonna keep, I think I'm gonna board like this. This seems fine. It's a mirror match, folks. The rips in the cage shut down our stuff too. As a library and we're on the draw, keep. What a fair and balanced magic card. Library of Alexandria, ladies and gentlemen. That one's Dece. Maybe even Dece Plus. Honestly, with, with the bears are coming in, Tilt. If the bears are coming in, maybe we're supposed to cut... Um, Maybe we're supposed to cut the, uh, leave the Tinker Blightsteel plan in. Maybe that plan is good. That's not what I want to do. We might Yogwell this library back, no joke. I want these. You want to draw the manager next turn, draw the merchant scroll right now. I wouldn't mind pitching this to a force.
I'm going to wait a turn and just leave the Mana Drain plus Force up here. I think if we leave up Mana Drain plus Force, we're pretty hard-pressed to die this turn. And, like, next turn, I can go Mana Crypt, uh, cast Jog Will, like, put Library into play, draw a card, cast Ponder, maybe. I think just using Yog Will to re rebuy our library seems fine. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got, opponent? Do we have going on? I'm setting whether or not they want to try and go for it, maybe. It's going to manage during this. Just like gets a one for one, basically. Gives me mana to cast Jog Will next turn. So now I can yog. And cast this ponder. Which puts me up to seven cards. And then I'll be able to. I think I want any of these cards right here. That's a good one. Put this into play. A card. Play Sensei Stop. Should have Merchant Scrolled first. Why? Next turn we can play this, plus draw another card. We got Double Force here. I feel like we're getting set up pretty well to win this game. Positioning ourselves well. Kind of burying them. I don't really think we need to draw that many cards, right? Uh, that's definitely getting countered. I'd rather a brainstorm than a scroll at this point. I wonder if my opponent boarded their forces out if they have defense grids in their in their board. I don't mind drawing. Actually, I really don't want any of these cards, right? So I could just like take the flooded train and fetch the other ones away. Although I guess I need to draw a card with my top in order to... I think I'm going to end up drawing all of these, actually. We're going to do some shenanigans, so that way we can... Um, so we can draw with our... Draw with our library. So draw with this. And then draw with our library. Now... And I think I want to just wait again because, like, if I if I play something else out here, then I can't draw with library next turn. Yeah, get out of here. Woo. Woo. Mm. Mm. The 2 and 0 oh with the paradoxical storm deck. There's a storm on brewing, ladies and gentlemen, and it is Yogmoth's will that powers it. Oh. 
Oh, decks like this are fun. They're like puzzles, right? You're just like trying to figure out the puzzle that like ends with your opponent dying. Oh, that's 13, 13 lands over here. Love to go first. But taking a second to figure out if this hand is awful or amazing. Um, it's probably fine, right? I can like DT for recall on one and then recall on two. Two Mox Opals kinds of, kind of sucks. I think it's like Crypt C this for recall. Tutor for Lotus. So if I tutor for Lotus, what happens? I guess in the next turn, Lotus is really good. Okay, that's fair. This, this turn? What am I doing this turn? This only... It's only going to draw three cards, right? Could I possibly kill them this turn? So make mana, play second Lotus, or play second Opal. Choose keep this Opal. They're auto passing. Make blue mana, cast Jog Will. Cast Lotus. Make a mana. Cast this. Use my keep this one. Yeah, they're actually just dead, aren't they? <laughs> Is this hand good? Do I get a recall? Man, Hoagland's stupid. He has no idea what he's doing. Just, just casual. What are we? What's going on? I don't have any idea what's going on, but you're dead. You're dead. Man, I'm so unlucky. I don't know how to sideboard. Pretty, pretty unlucky. Don't know how to sideboard. <laughs> you're dead. All right, so they were auto passing. So how do we, how do we feel about just like bringing in the anti shops cards in the dark? Because they were auto passing, so they probably don't have blue cards. How do we feel about that? I don't. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it's something I'm willing to do. Um, yeah. So tutor for tendrils would have been exactly lethal. Yeah. Tu the, casting the tutor would have been storm nine, and it would have gotten tendrils, and tendrils would have dealt twenty to them, or lost them twenty life. Technically, it doesn't deal damage. All right, and then what cards are bad when these three are coming in? The Gush is probably mediocre. Are the tops too slow? Tops are kind of good for grinding, right? Mana Drain's probably clunky. I don't have missteps in my deck. There's only two in the board. There's no Fluster Storms or missteps in my... Oh, there's one Fluster Storm. Okay. Good catch, good catch. One Fluster Storm, yep, that's it. Dredge has force. No, uh, Kataki Symmetrical Campbell is not.
Then seems fine. I mean, this is kind of funny against this opener. Uh, yeah, this is fine, right? I think that's fine. Does Workshops play this card? I don't, I don't actually know. And Mentor is just like the stones, right? Because that's how we're going to kill them. Because they have a Witch Bane Orb out. And I hit a Mana Vault here, so that's that's fine. I could even turn to the energy flux if I wanted to, really. Yeah, turn to the energy flux, turn three monastery mentor. Casting the ponder there does mean I don't have anything to pitch the force, right? Which is kind of awkward. Oh, no rod stops mana vault. No rod stops mana vault. Thank you. Thank you. So should have should have shuffled this one away. All right, mucked it up, mucked it up. A big dumb stupid chat fam, big dumb stupid. Do you really disappear? So tell me oh, the same love and how do we get high? Do I just like Lotus and play the Energy Flux this turn? No, I can't use the Lotus because of Null Rod. I can't use the Lotus because of Null Rod. I can't use the Lotus because of Null Rod. I can't use the Lotus because of Null Rod. I can't use the Lotus because of Null Rod. All right. I've said it a couple of times. Do I get a second, a second energy flux? Do I just get a second energy flux? I feel like I just get a second energy flux, like it pitches to the force in a, in a pinch. And like it just put, buries them in the ground. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it, chat fam. So tell me, oh, this ain't love and how do we get... That's, that's unfortunate. Now I need another land. Yes, I should have gotten a Kataki. Yes, I should have gotten a Kataki. Or a recall. Maybe I should have gotten a recall. Yeah, I probably should have gotten recall there. Maybe I'm supposed to play these out just so they're in play. Sure, that resolves. Is that way if they play a thorn or something? I like having them post Monastery Mentor is pretty good. Don't play out the Moxon. Oh, Flux kills them. Great. Oh, we're super dead now. Man, yeah, I messed this up. And that's why I like formats like this, right? Like, most of the time you lose games, you're going to lose them because you messed up. I guess to be fair here, we're probably not doing anything for a little while anyways. And what are trying to say? It's not modern. It's not like I just said. Uh... 
You gonna play this so I don't have to discard. All right. Um, yeah, I think I like how we boarded. So submit. I'm supposed to bring in this. It's like his extra land. Yeah, I'm just gonna submit. Not turn one killing every time seems loose. I agree. Concur. It's definitely the loosest of plays. So it's super, about to get super fucking awkward up in here. Me believe. Please don't brick, please don't brick. I guess that's technically not a brick. Am I supposed to spin this now? I don't think so. Am I supposed to play the key? Like, I'm gonna have to lose a bunch of my artifacts, right? Is the thing like if I get energy flux in play, they just can't they just can't win anymore? Alright. The key just seems really loose because like I have I have to find a land next turn. I think I'm supposed to keep I think I'm supposed to just find top. I think we're supposed to spin top and look for lands. The key's like marginally better if my opponent plays um the uh what's it called this turn? Um angle wire. Yeah, but it is plus one mana next turn. Okay, so it's like kind of a wash. That's really unfortunate. Hopefully they name top. I guess I'm supposed to spin this because if I find a blue source like that. 
I think I'm just going to draw that. Let's tutor for a recall next turn. Damn regrets, try to forget. I'm gonna play another sphere effect here and I'm gonna feel really bad. Yep. It's a lot of pressure to the board, too. This format's weird. See why the Shop's deck is good? The more I play with this deck, the more I think the Delver deck's just probably great. I mean, I punted, I punted the second game, right? Like, we, we 10 out of 10 should have won the second game. Like, if I... If I just, like, got a recall there, like, we're a pretty strong favorite to, like, hit a land and play the energy flux, then they just, like, die. So, if I, like, sequence properly. I'm conceding you another thorn effect. That's not that. Yeah, I could have just shoot her for a land in the first place. Yeah, exactly. This game, I don't think I had better lines at any point, but the second game, we definitely could have could have sequenced better to kill them. We are... Yeah, super dead. Game's opponent. I tried to spear their head, too. Gross. All right, 2-1 now with the Storm deck. We get knocked up. <laughs> this is two more wins than anyone else expected. You're not wrong. We are we are definitely batting above par. I don't think we're gonna get to hex tonight. It's ten o'clock and I've got two more matches in this league, so I'm probably gonna head to bed after that. I was up late last night. That seems fine, like not stellar, but fine. We are get knocked down. Uh, I think I'm supposed to bottom bottom here. There might be merit to keeping the Mox Pearl just so I guarantee you get a second mana. Hey, J Muscle Man with the 213 subscription. Thank you for the continued support. I do appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm out of bottom bottom. I need a blue source. Mm hmm. Hand suddenly looking a lot less good. I'm going to force pitching manager in if they fight over this. Ugh. Tilt. All right, I don't have anything going on at least. Hey. <laughs> That's a good fucking draw. Good 
We're gonna need to force a counter spell there. Under one of Fluster Storm. It's fine. Uh. Gonna tutor for a brainstorm here, I think. A lot of cards I'd like to put back. Yeah, oh, they have a force as well. It's unfortunate. Oh. All right. Got the council here for the mirror. I think I'm going to cut the tendrils. Be on like the Tinker Campbell Blade Steel plan here post board. <laughs> Mana Dream's pretty decent. Like try and be more of a controlling deck. It's just me. No, I don't think so. I think they, like, have the Time Vault, and they, like, have a Sensei's Dividing Top, and I'll, I guess they're shuffling their top away, technically, so maybe? That seems really narrow, though. I think the chance of winning from there is so astronomically small. Excuse me. It's fine. Seem to certainly keep. <laughs> Lee magically got this song for free. Bothers me that I'm fine, because we're having a good time. Everything I create Cause I'm having a good time uh, We're one man away from being able to cast this this turn I'm just gonna pass here Go down that road the person that said winning a vintage feels like flipping coins, though, that's what modern feels like. Like, most of these games, we're, we're both doing really powerful things, but, like, outside of that last game where we just, like, lost because we, like, bricked on land for forever, um, like, that's gonna happen in every format in Magic occasionally. Like, that's just how Magic works sometimes. You like Paradoxical for three there? I don't think so. I think I'd rather wait till do it for four. Like, I get forced, I'm just, like, super out of it. Like, getting forced there seems super miserable. And, like, this next turn, I could try and do it for four, and I could mana drain and have it be for three if they have a counter spell. So I feel like the upside of just, like, drawing three there is, like, not worth it. No. Like all, all formats of magic obviously have aspects of variance to them, but you know, we're only we're what a dozen matches into vintage out, and I feel like at least the two decks that we played so far, they have a lot of sequencing decisions to them, a lot of back and forth. Of course, I'm also picking decks that are very interactive. Like this is like this is a storm deck, right? Like I'm playing a combo deck, and like we're still very interactive. Okay. 
That's pretty good. Okay. La la la. This is a lot of work to shuffle a couple cards around. That's not even true. I've played a lot of Pokemon, and Pokemon feels very different from this. Pokemon just works on a different resource system than Magic. Like, Pokemon's just a fundamentally different game. It's not like Hex or Hearthstone or Eternal or, you know, even, even like, all, all of the CCGs, for the most part, a lot of them have, like, draw a lot of parallels to Magic, and, like, Pokemon just really doesn't. I have two cards, so we're hoping they're not two counter spells. Hopefully, we draw another box in the next turn so this Paradox Lockham can draw some extra cards. Sure. I'm going to get outcomed with Force back up here. How good is Ant in Legacy? I don't think Storm in Legacy is actually that good, because I think the best decks in Legacy are very good against it. It was probably kind of metagame dependent. Like, if you're if you're expecting to play against a bunch of, like, garbage tier decks, it's probably great. But, like, any reasonable tier 2 deck is, like, great against garbage tier decks, right? Uh, They need to make black mana for Tendrils, right? They've already, this is their turn one. They've already played a land for the turn. So like, I could mana drain something that makes mana, right? It has to make explicitly black mana. They've already played a Mox Jet. They've already played a Black Lotus. What am I did to here? They only have black, black one. They get a box opal? Sure. La la la. La la la. Yeah, if they play if they play Yogg will, obviously we're gonna manage drain it. They're passing the turn. Good deal. Oh, wow wow. Wow wow wow. Everything, everything worked out just fine, folks. Wow, wow. All right. See if they've got two counter spells. That's unfortunate. Wasn't thinking about that one. That's a legacy card. What does this card read? The beginning of your next main phase. Okay, so if I change phases, I'm going to get one mana back. It's good to know. I like holding this thing for the... the... I think I'm supposed to hold the preordain to pitch to force here at this point. Right? This condition's all down. See the perfect shade of dark blue, dark blue, and you never been alone in a crowded room while I'm here with you. A dark blue. Uh, 
So, yeah, if I do this, I can draw the time walk, cast the time walk. So, and now I do this, and I do this. Look at the top three. There's another key on top of my deck. So I can hold priority, use this to draw a card in response, use this to untap the Sensei's Divining Top, and then use this to draw another card. Burning. And I haven't played a land yet this turn. No, I did because this is my second turn. God, what a wild. This is my second turn. Um, uh, what's it called? There's been some bad legacy decks that used to do this. Is this my third turn? This is my second turn, right? Oh, it's time. I time walked. Yeah, okay. Good call. Good call. I time walked. All right. So then there's a land on top of my deck. So let's draw. No, I. What? I held. I was holding control. I, I literally was holding my control key. God, that's fucking annoying. God, this application is such garbage sometimes. That's really frustrating. I mean, I guess, I guess I got to play the land. They don't have anything going on, hopefully. <sighs> I think I'm going to crack this Lotus to cast the Force here. Rather than pitch my preordain. What's going on, Dubstack? Okay. Pushing my control key all the way down. Draw a card. Untap. Continue holding it down. Draw a card. Make a mana. Untap. Draw a card. All right, we have a lot of tops. All right, so let's play this top. And I'm going to draw a random with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and cast this Preordain, I think. And the bottom, this. Topping that is great. I'm going to go ahead and pass here. Next turn we can scroll for outcome and then outcome. Ideally, we want to draw blue cards so we can hard cast this force. Or so we could alt cast this force, I guess. Oh, that's good. All right. Hold control. Draw a card. Holding control. Draw a card. All 
Alright, Flaring Academy, make 7 mana, casual. Grab outcome here. I'm going to preordain, see if we can find a force or a mana drain. Find more stuff to... More stuff to draw cards with. Um, Flaring Academy is dumb, you're not wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7... All those. Oh, I should have floated mana. Thankfully, they responded. Um, I spin my top here. Huh. about clever i don't care about funny Woo cards all right people die while they're trying to find them all right things are about to get a little cray who knows that's how you get famous look at the sun and i look in the mirror drag you out onto a winner Know what's right and what's real. I boarded out my tendrils, I think. Pretty sure I boarded out my tendrils. Just so everyone, so everything's above the board here. We understand what's going on. I think I might have boarded out my tendrils. Oh, yeah, definitely boarded out the tendrils. All right, let's do it the hard way. Less about mothers. It's all about fast cars and tucking each other. Matter, because I'm packing plastic. And that's what makes my life so fucking fantastic. Yeah, I know. We have to, um... We have to find the Yogwill. We have to find the Yogg will and then Yogg will a time walk. Yeah, I, I, I understand how we win the game from here. I do. Keep this one. This, 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 this. All right. I could cast more spells and get more things, but I just kind of want to win the game and not time out. I guess, I guess I should make some extra mana here just in case things go sideways. Being taken over by the fear. Hard cast blade steel if time allows. Oh right, because it can uh Oh, I have Yogg Will. I have Yogg Will. I thought I missed it. I thought I missed. There were so many cards in my hand. I missed the Yogg Will. All right, opponent conceded. God bless the opponent. There's the Yogg Will. All right. Um, yeah, I don't think we need the tendrils. Anything? Anything? I'm happy with how I boarded. This deck's, this format is weird and great. See, in paper, you could just, like, when you draw a pile of cards like that, I always sort them into, like, stacks in front of me, like, these are the relevant cards. Stop it. That's the shit nightmares are made of. Fluster storm, a fluster storm, when storm counts 20. <clears throat> I think this hand's okay. Seems fine. Like, not super exciting, but fine. Turn one ring, Voltaic key. I guess it's great, right? That's exactly right, Ken Danger. 
My opponent went to five and isn't playing anything on one. God bless. That's perfect. That means we can Kemble on two. Tinker. Messed up. Okay, that makes sense. We can brainstorm next turn. Do a fetch line to clear it. Horses, Dece. Probably put this key back unless we hit the vault. I get another Tundra here since we hit the Black Mox. So they can't waste us off of white. They probably just want all of these cards, right? God, are we about to catch? I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, but I think we're about to catch this league. Library recall mana drain. It's definitely one of the more expensive ponders out there. I'm going to use this recall as bait. Because I want the Kemble to resolve more than the recall, I think. I think I want this more than the more than the recall, which feels weird to say, but I think it's true. This card puts a lot of pressure on them. I want to trade their hardest. Game's not over yet. It's getting pretty close, feels like. I think I'm okay out coming for two here. Either of these cards, right? Actually, I probably don't mind taking the force here. I probably want that at some point. Stop on my turn. Three, two, one. Force probably locks it once I can cast it. And actually, I don't even need to stop here because I can just like, I can just hard cast this by playing the Mox Jet. Hexsets.com, yep. Hexsets.com has it. Oh, I could have played the Mox. Dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. Nope, mtgotraders.com, buy and sell Magic Online cards. Just still getting used to being able to play two lands a turn, is the reason. <laughs> Just still getting used to playing two lands a turn. Man, I don't know who designed this configuration of this deck, but whoever whoever put this card in the deck, they were they were a powerful wizard. This card was a good, a real good add to this deck. 
We're just going to like head for a boat ride, right? I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this. And again, we're going to do the hold priority, draw a card, do this, untap this, draw again. Because this gets us two blue. This gets us the time walk plus another. Oh, no, it doesn't, right? It does if I draw now. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to shuffle this top away. This is a way of an extra blue card here. I'm going to go ahead and cast this time walk. With force back up. Sure. And now they can't cast a card. Because their camp. This guy's going to put them to two. GG's opponent. So they're not dead until our next turn. Trigger. There's no force here. The only force is Kembo. We did it, fam. We have cashed. We have cashed another Vintage League. Mains. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out here tonight. I'll check the sponsors tab one more time here. I do appreciate everyone. Thank you to all the subs and resubs that we had. Hope everyone had a great weekend. If you're in the U.S., hope you're having a good holiday weekend. Luckily, hopefully I have off work tomorrow. We're going to play this last match, then we're going to wrap it up for the evening, I think. Almost 11 o'clock here, kind of late. I can't keep this on the play, right? That's stuck enough. It sounds like not exciting, but it's fine. I'm going to bottom that just in case this Mystic Tutor doesn't resolve. We are likely going to Tutor for Recall. Their, their username is Bizarre of Baghdad. Even money there on Dredge? We're 3-1 in this league. I think I like the Delver deck better than this one. Okay, another mirror. The Delver deck felt really smooth. And I enjoy that type of gameplay more. Just like an aggressive, like, it's like the Delver deck is like the definition of a tempo deck, right? Deal. I think I want to save this force to fight over my recall. Like, I kind of need, and I need gas. All right, hopefully they only have one counter here. All right, now what does the scroll want to go get here? I don't actually know what I want to get with this. The recall's already in the bin. Getting like a dig? I guess I could get a gush. Yeah, gush actually seems great, right? Yeah, because next turn I can go mentor opal gush with force up. That seems fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
No, I know I'm using my mana that turn, Shakeheb. The question is just like what I want to be doing with it, I think. And my opponent didn't fight over my recall, so there's a pretty good chance we're just going to get to like do our thing next turn. Should probably just play more recalls, right? Concur. Hard, hard yes. Firm, firm yes. Memory. Resolves. Insincere. Be your memory. So get back, back, back to where we last were. Way. Should play one white mana in the Delver for Mentor? Maybe. You don't have that many mocks in, so like... I don't know if that's strictly true. I don't know if you necessarily want a fifth, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna force this. They have a counter here, we're gonna be in trouble. They don't have a counter, and we get to go mentor, do stuff next turn. And like both of these are tapped on them, so like they're top flipping to the top. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No, I want, I want the gush with the mentor. They fetched their top away. That's interesting. Oh, they have another one. Okay, that makes sense. Never find. Here in my heart, be your memory. Not really, Uber Mikey. I would just skip playing that deck. So get back, back, back to where we lasted, just like Ani Mastened. Feel this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're looking for a zero mana artifact with this. Force will do, pig. I think I'm gonna go top top here. Go. Mm hmm. Insincere, be your memory. We could play four of that card for years, right? That's fine. Do I want to let recall resolve? Probably not, right? That's probably just a bad idea. It's kind of close, I think, because I'm pitching cruise. Like, I could cruise back up. Like, there's a priority on the top of my deck here, so, like, hopefully I can chain that into a couple of things. I think it's actually pretty close. We could die now because I, I didn't, uh, because I countered that. But you can't stay. They only had one mana left. That's fair. That's fair. 
Yeah. I think that was a mistake. I agree. I agree that that was a mistake. I didn't, I almost didn't do it. And like, I could have forced any play that they had. I could have cruised the following turn with a force for their force. And then that gives me enough prowess triggers to kill them. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted cruise. I just wanted like, I just wanted two spells on my turn. So they died. Right. Was the thing like that. That's actually what should have happened. I just wanted two spells on my turn. Now, if they hit like outcome plus land, I could realistically lose here. Yeah, unfortunate. I could realistically lose this. And again, like, there's a lot of sequencing decisions in these games, little things like that. A lot of tiny things. At least we already, at least we already cashed this league guaranteed. Not that we're guaranteed dead here. Maybe because I'd have been down a monk, but like Cruz almost certainly draws me a spell, right? Cruz like very likely draws me spells. Uh -huh. Hopefully the tank there means they're dead. Yeah, it's it's on. I I agree that we're a favorite, but like I gave them. I gave them outs here that I didn't have to, I think. I think I should just let, let them have their three cards and then I can cruise and get my three cards. And then if they force, I likely just kill them because with the force, I'd have to count. The outcome here is the scariest thing they can have. Yep, and that's what they got. All right, kill me, opponent. I deserve this. Things I deserve. This, all of this. There, there weren't guaranteed lands on top of my deck. There weren't guaranteed lands on top of my deck. We knew Force... We knew Preordain was on top of my deck. We didn't know anything like that. Ancient Tomb. That's interesting. It's it's a pseudo-mirror. These combo decks have a lot of... Um, there's a lot going on in all of these combo decks, which is kind of interesting. I really feel like we have a huge leg up in all these mirrors when we have... Um, when we have Kemble and they don't. Oh, we are certainly dead here, right? That's a terrifying card. Yep. It's unfortunate. Hopefully we can win the next two. On the back of Kemble, the card's been really good. Yeah, this, this isn't active. Opponent needs a tinker or a key. They outcoming again here. A third outcome, gross. <sighs> you just play the key so I can concede. Key and Tinker both kill us here. Do, 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 do. 
Come on, dude. Am I dead? Not while you're still playing. You can show the hand at the very end. They just drew the fourth outcome. It seems like they're setting up for the fourth outcome. That's what it feels like. There's the tinker. All right. I appreciate my opponent wasting our time. God bless them. All right, so I think we decided the tendrils was out in the mirror and we cut the gush and the mystic tutor. I think that's what we did last time. Make mistakes, lose games, weird correlation. What a weird correlation. I'm not used to that. We've played so much modern lately that I'm just not used to the making mistakes, losing players games. Um, they tinkered and set up Voltaic Key plus Time Vault, which lets them take unlimited turns. So, yeah, it's actually going to be our last match of the night. And set up to be finished here, last league. Currently 3-1 in this league, down a game here in a uh, pseudo, pseudo mirror match. No, I don't think Flux is particularly good. I don't, I don't think that sounds great. Flux is, Flux is like, Flux has to be winning the game guaranteed for it to be reasonable, I think. I think, uh, I think it's Flux is really awkward for our deck, and if Shops wasn't a deck, we wouldn't play it. I don't believe that it's a guaranteed win. It doesn't really matter what our opponent's win condition is, they could just, like, they could, their win condition could be a Fugitive Wizard and we'd have died. Peace, check in. Is everyone hanging out? Remember, if you didn't catch all the vintage, actually, we've been streaming vintage for almost uh, five and a half hours. The archives actually I just published the Blue Red Delver deck. If you're under something a little bit more fair than what we're currently doing in vintage, the Blue Red Delver deck seems like a great choice. We four won the last league with that deck. And copy and pasted a 5 0 deck list here. Nothing but dirty, filthy net decking shills. And how it usually works is. After I punt a game that we definitely should have won, I mulligan out of the next game. And that's definitely what's happening here. Sand is not stellar. That's exactly what we want, though. I'm going to cast the Soul Ring on turn one instead of the Preordain, just because um, I know there's a card I want on top of my deck right now. Boseju. Man, I'm glad we have Kimball in our deck. Um, I'm going to preordain before I recall because I would, if we find a force, I would like to be able to fight over this recall. Bottom, bottom. Okay, and we're in it. In it to win it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to use this kind of aggressively, since they have a Besage you here for their paradoxical outcomes. Well then, I guess I'm just forcing that. 
Whereas these cards aren't going to be very useful. I'm not actually sure, Susso. I'd already played a land for the turn. Mentor seems decent. That's a win condition. Bottom that. Top the mentor. Cast this. I'm just going to draw two with these. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I get to do this off of this. Then I get to go activate, cast Mentor, Mox Mox. And then next turn, I can, at their, their end of turn, I can vamp for Yogwill. Should I just vamp for Yogwill now? Probably. I don't want them to untap with counter spells. We are with Dignity. We are, we are, we're dignity. Yogwill's the right one to get here, right? That's probably Yogwill. Yep. Just do that. Go, don't kill me, please. They could, we could die. They have five cards in their head. Like, we could very, very easily die here. You bury Jeb on Deathcrawler, right? Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. That's that's the very start to us dying. That's the actual upside to casting the vamp tutor there. As we get to just like value F6 and just like, alright, do your thing. Please don't dead me. Hey. Opponent knows they're dead, so they're trying to just not kill us this turn. Mm -hmm. Old guilt nest crane. So I got to cast uh, four spells for lethal here, which uh, if the Yoggle doesn't get countered, we will have four spells. It's on Ocean Avenue, where we used to sit and talk with... Oh, Helm works for us too, that's funny. And the best part about this game, if we win, is that we didn't have to show them... Um, we didn't have to show them our uh, Kemble, which is excellent. Uh... I might want less counters and I might want energy flux now that I see that they have, um, now that I see that they have, uh, defense grids in their deck. Could find you now, things would get better. No, this is this is actually gonna be the last game that I hear. This is game three of this last match. What do we think? Do we like the energy fluxes? Since I know they're on they're on anti counter spells. Because I didn't tap optimally, because it didn't matter. Yeah, you can generate infinite storm with two tops in the helm. What do we what do we think energy flux? I like Flux now that I, now that I see Defense Grid. Kitaki's worse because they have Crane. Mm. 
I'm gonna cut the mana drains and bring in and bring in the fluxes. I like the fluxes too because they pitch to force. And like we definitely need things to pitch to force. Yeah, trim the mana drain, bring in these. The problem is I really just like don't want more counter spells in my deck against defense grids. They probably have like a fistful of defense grids. I'm gonna do this. I remember that look in your eyes. This was goodbye. I was begging you not tonight, not here, not now. Same night sky. Same seems fine. Three pieces of power, NBD. But Sage use only spells. Yeah, I want the forces. The forces are fine, I agree. 10 out of 10 agree that the forces are fine. No, they have four pieces of power themselves. This week, outcoming on one. Yep. Am I dead? Oh no, am I dead? Oh no, am I dead? Please don't dead me, opponent. I enjoy being alive. Might be getting turned one. It's really me, Bob. I would like this is for if we win this match, we're plus twenty dollars. I would like an extra twenty dollars from this match, this game. Shopping cause goodbye. Yeah, how sweet would Kembo be? <laughs> Make it right. From me do I forget yesterday will be a great escape. Hear a word they say I don't know us anyway. We don't hand a C tonight. Was that a $20 Kemble? That might have been a $20 Kemble. Please be a $20 Kemble. By your sign, goodbye. Up the find. In the top of our lungs. So we're young and we'll feel so alive. Can't miss him on moto. Damn Skippy. Forget yesterday will be the great escape. Yeah, the person that put three of these in the sideboard of this deck, they were very smart and thin. They were they were the smartest, thinnest person playing vintage that day. Find this sling tonight. Forget yesterday. We also cashed with Shadowboard Apostles. We did. We did, in fact, cash with Shadowboard Apostles. But anyway, do I forget yesterday? Will be the great escape. They say. I've been in grad school too long, 800 words in less than 10 minutes. Who says, S right, exactly. Like, if you would have told me during undergrad that I would be, like, being paid to write a bunch, I'd, I probably wouldn't have believed you. But, like, that's what I do for a living now, basically, is write a bunch. Trigger. Trigger, target you. This target. This doesn't actually doesn't even target, which is great. The Radicone, thanks for hanging out tonight. 
It's going to be, and for everyone that's here, I know I, you're probably used to me only streaming during the day. This is going to be a regular thing, Sunday night streams here on this channel. We're going to be streaming every Sunday evening, magic, lots of legacy and vintage for sure. And then between this recall and this top, we could probably find a force plus a blue card for next turn. Or if we find an energy flux off this recall, we can just jam it into play and then they're not going to be able to use these things and this man will be turned off and they'll probably be out of the game. Yeah, it is, Trex. All the, all the scheduled Hex of Magic time is up there. It's, mo it, it's mostly it's mostly weekday morning still a lot of lot of weekday morning type stuff just like usual but uh section and segment on Sunday night all right hopefully hopefully we hit that energy flux we get four looks at it with our draw step plus this recall this dork's legendary right yes he is and he's he certainly fits the title and remember, if you can't catch my live streams or you didn't catch all of this one, you can check out my YouTube page, link to stream information below. I archive all of my streams up there and they break them up by deck and by format. So you want to just watch Legacy, you want to just watch Vintage, you can check my content there and filter, filter by format on there. My opponent probably doesn't have counter spells in their deck. Tick tock, opponent. Tick tock goes the Kemble clock. Longer. Stronger. Is that auto pass value? Because I have defense good in play, anyways. All right. Um, I'm going to hold the fetch because the top might need a shuffle. All right. Well, now we're not going to play the top. Because uh, I can force and pay three mana and pitch a blue card here, which is just like should be the game. This makes me pay three mana to play spells on their turn. Glint, Nest, Crane. Am I supposed to force this crane? Where do we, where do we fall on the force the crane issue, fam? Where do we where do we fall on the force of the crane issue? It's gonna give them a lot of turns, right? To like set up and like sculpt a hand that can like answer this Kemble. I guess that's fair. We're gonna like draw a bunch of cards next, but like so like I could force this, then I get to draw a bunch of cards next turn. I kinda like forcing it. And like next turn I just go like land top outcome. Live forever. Want to live in this pain. I don't want to fist. Watch him kill us or answer the Kemble now. That would be a tilt. Until you can draw a card with this. You can draw a card with this. I mean, like the dig's not doing anything anyways with this Nile spell bomb, right? Keep calling your name until you come back. Auto pass value. Just want to keep calling your name until you come back home. Love of my life. Baby, baby. I feel crazy. Do you have an answer to this? Plus an ability to kill me this turn? Nope, not look like it. I don't want to live forever. Living in pain. I don't want to kiss. 
forever. Keep calling your name. Is this coming back to my hand here? Nope, we found another crane. They found another crane. That's great. That's fantastic. They found another crane. <laughs> God, this game's great. Back home. Would love another mox here. Energy Flux. Do you think that one wins the game, ladies and gentlemen? I feel like there's a very real chance that this one wins the game. And we know it's going to resolve. Forever. I don't want to fix. Forever. Go in the old. Till you come back home. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Just want to keep calling your name. Should I play this top two? I just play this top two, right? I just play the top two. <laughs> Kinda, but then like he can't use a ca mana for academy. And like next turn in response to my triggers, I'll draw with top and retain priority and then paradoxal outcome pick my stuff up. My my opponent's a trooper. They're like, it, like it's gonna be reflected on their report card. That like they they tried their hardest. Like a a plus for effort, opponent. Could I have outcomed and? Could I have outcomed and energy flux this turn? I actually didn't count it. GG's opponent. Back to back, back to back four ones. Hmm. Hmm. Even with four Yu-Gi-Oh cards in our vintage deck, Kembo was able to pull it on, pull it on through. Money, 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 money. We got how many? How many fun points we have? It's good. We burned points in the Legacy Challenge this morning. Hundred and one treasure chests. Look at all of my treasure. Look at all of my treasure. At any rate, thank you everyone for hanging out here this evening. I really do appreciate it. This is going to be me signing off. I hope everyone has a great, uh, great holiday Monday tomorrow. I'm going to be back on Tuesday morning, as always with my schedule. No way. I don't, I don't burn. I don't set $2 on fire to new player. 12, 12. Should we play? Should I use these new player points at some point on stream? You could use these to like draft or something, right? Is that is that what these get used for? I don't think I've ever actually no. I've cubed on Magic Online once forever ago. I have cubed before. This was this was a good time. We are definitely going to be streaming some more vintage. Let's see who I can host here. Anyone else streaming Legacy or Vintage? The people's formats, if you would. All right, someone streaming Legacy. Give them some. Give them some love. Peace, folks.